Hi, fourth grade. Welcome back. Today we are going to, I'm going to share my screen and we'll start talking about it, be working on module one, lesson six. Um, we're still working on topic B that compares multi-digit whole numbers. Um, but with that today, we're going to be finding one, ten, and one hundred thousand more or less than a given number. Um, sounds like really big numbers. I think you're going to be surprised at how simple this can be when you use your place value chart. Um, you're going to learn to do this so you can understand the values of numbers in their place value. When we just have random numbers, they don't have much value to them or understand why we use them. The value of a 10,000 versus a $1 bill um, is going to be a big money difference, number difference, and it's going to be a big difference across the board. You're going to know you're successful when you can add ones, tens, and hundreds to their place value columns and recognize that new number in written, standard, and expanded form. So we're going to continue to take just what we've learned and put it into action. So I have quite a few boxes here and I really kind of added to these to um, make it be what we need it to be. So up top, as always, I am going to write in our place value placements. So again, we have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten hundred, Ooh. my mistake, that's ten thousands, Oops. ten thousands, hundred thousands. We got our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So they give us this wonky number of 3,112 ones. So I know your first thing is probably go, okay, I have 3,112 ones. But we can't have multiple numbers like that in the same place value. So this is just another way of telling us to space this out. So if we have 100, 110, two ones, that's the same as still having 112 ones. I'm going to come over here and I'm still going to put my comma in to represent my number. So 3,112 is truly how we would read that number. So for our first problem, what we're going to do is we're going to find 1,000 more than this number. So I'm going to come to my thousands column and if I were to add one, my new number is going to be a four. We didn't add anything else to the other columns, so those are going to stay the same. So we have 4,112. And it's just that simple. So the next thing we're going to do is find 1,000 less. I'm going to do 1,000 less than the original number. So if we had 3,112 minus 1,000, well, 3,000 minus 1,000 is going to give us 2,000, and everything else is going to stay the same. These are truly the same as doing 3,112 plus 1,000 with everything lined up, and that gave us this number. Or what we truly did here is we did 3,112 minus 1,000, which gives us this number here. So either way is correct. Either way, you're doing the same thing, but truly you're just adding a thousand or subtracting a thousand. Okay, now we're going to go on to our next number, which is again written out in word form this time. So we have our ones, tens, hundreds, my goodness. <laughs> There we go, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And I'm sorry for not having the prettiest handwriting on here. Okay, so we now have two ten thousands and three thousands. So I can take this as is, two ten thousands. I can go to my ten thousand columns and I'm gonna put a two. And now I have three thousands. So again, I can just go to my three thousands column and put a three here. The importance of putting it in our place value chart is that 
now we know exactly how many zeros there are after. So one, two, three, because it didn't give us anything in the ones, tens, or hundreds column. So our new number reads 23,000. Pretty simple. So now we're going to find 10,000 more. So it is as simple as coming in and in our 10,000s, we're going to add 10,000 which gives us our new number of 33,000. We're going to go back to our original number again, and we're going to also find 10,000 less than this. So that'd be the same as taking our 23,000 and subtracting 10,000. So I can come to my 10,000 place value. After I go zero, minus zero, minus zero, these are all zeros. Three minus zero is still three, and then two minus one is one. So 10,000 less gives us 13,000. We will continue. Um, and this again is just another way. So they're writing it in word form, and we're going to want it in standard form. So we have our ones, tens hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Sometimes my friends in class want to start getting kind of lazy on me and they might just put like a one and then a ten. I really don't want you guys to do that because that starts to get confusing with all of the zeros. If you get messed up with your zeros up here, then there's no way we'll get them right down here. So even if you abbreviate it just like I did to know what it still stands for, um, I still prefer you write it out this way. So our number gets really big up here. It's 134,130. Okay, so I know that this thousand is going to land here and it's going to be my comma. So we have 134. So I'm going to know that there's going to be 100 and then 34,000. Just as it sounds, just as you write it, 134,000 and then we have 130. So I have 100, but I don't put a three and a zero here. I'm going to put my three in my tens place and then a zero in my ones. So I'm going to double check it to make sure that this matches. So I have 134,130. And the numbers should always look exactly how you say them. And then that's how you also write them. However you would say them and speak them is exactly how you write them out in written form. So now in our problem, we're going to find 10,000 more and 10,000 less than our original number. So if that's the case, my 100,000 is going to stay the same. So my 10,000, I want one more because I'm in the 10,000 place value. So I'm going to do 144,130 because what we really did is we added 10,000. Okay, and we can do that by just adding one to the 10,000s column because that's the place value that it's in. Now we're going to find 10,000 less than our original number. So I hope that you know now you can go to the 10,000 column and subtract one from it because that's one 10,000 less. So that's going to give us 124,130. There you go. Okay, we're going to do this on our very last one. So again, we have our ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred, oops, that's a, not very pretty D, hundred thousands. And now our number is in standard form. So I'm going to start here. Here's my ones place, my tens place, my hundreds place. Nothing in the thousand, nothing in the ten thousand, but we have a two in the hundred thousand. So same thing here. It says find 100,000 more, find 100,000 less. So 100,000 more doesn't mean I come and I add 100 in this one little column because I can't. But if I add 100,000, since I'm in the 100,000 column, same as this, 
it's as simple as two plus one. So three, everything else is going to stay the same. So then you'll do the same thing when you want 100,000 less than our original number. So one less than two is one. So then I have 100,352. So putting these in your place value charts makes it really, really simple for you to see 100,000, 10,000, and 1,000 greater or less than a single number. Okay, from here, you might see some numbers like this. So we have 545,000, 445,000, 345,000. So I'm gonna write these in my place value chart still. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10 thousands, hundred thousands. Okay, so if we have the numbers 545,000, and then we have 445,000, and then we have 345,000, we notice that there is starting to be, um, there's starting to be a pattern. That's what I'm looking for. So, we go 545,000, 445,000, 345,000. So what are they doing? They're obviously only changing the 100,000 place value. Well, they're only going down by 100,000. And so then we would go, okay, well, this one only went down by 100,000. So they might ask you, what would the next number be in this pattern? Well, if you were to take a good guess, they're probably going to subtract 100,000 again, which the next number in the pattern then would be 245,000. So there we can still see and compare and see how our numbers are bigger or greater, but then they're also showing you patterns of place values. From here, you're gonna start your exit ticket. So you're gonna fill in the empty boxes to complete the pattern. Now, they're showing you some missing sp spaces on multiple pieces. So I would still create your um, place value chart, write in the numbers that you know, and then see what's happening. Is it the 100 place value that's moving, the 10,000, the 1,000, the 100? I don't know, but you're gonna fill it in to complete the pattern. Then you're gonna explain in pictures, numbers, or words how you found your answer. And then you're gonna complete the following equations. So making sure that you can make your place value chart, and then add 1,000 or subtract 10,000, just like what we were doing. And then you'll solve this word problem. So I hope that that helps you guys today. Um, please let me know if you ever have any questions, and thank you guys for joining me today.